fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys. That's George in the front. This is Harvey, the man who booked the trip, who had the worst fluke experience ever <laughs> this summer. It's Ernesto over there. You can't see anybody. It's really dark. Abu is behind me. His magic cookies are right here. It's the most important part of the trip right here. I'm not sure if this is going to get filmed or not. We're, we're staying more local today, but we'll see. Bunker jumping out of the water. Something's on them. You see that they're, they're, they're flying two, three feet out of the water, yeah. some of them. Oh, yeah, there they are. Checking in a bit. All right, here we go, guys. A November 13 Todd trip. Uh, one of my last charters of the season, I believe my second to last charter of the season, um, with my returning customer Harvey, who had a terrible fluke trip this year, day before a hurricane, water was all stirred up. We had a terrible time. Um, more than made up for it on this trip. Joining Harvey were returning customers Abu, Ernesto, and George. We're going to talk about a couple things here. Number one, how fast we limited. We had a charter limit in about 40 minutes, and we had a full boat limit, including my share, probably in about 55 minutes, uh, under an hour for sure. And the, you know, the, the one takeaway from this, and it's, it's in my opinion, again, I'm going to stress this throughout the video, my opinion only, an overlooked part of jigging for tog is having the right rod. Abu is one of the best fishermen I know. He had a great fluke trip with me this year. We'll show that trip uh, in the winter. It'll be on uh, the, the winter fluke series. And he's had a, a number of great, great tog trips with me. The difference here, he started using a different rod, a very high-end rod. And the sensitivity at the rod tip makes a huge difference, in my opinion. A, a rod that is too stiff, even if it's light even if it meets all the other criteria for jigging for tog, will not yield the same results as a very sensitive tip rod. And that definitely happened here today, on this date at least. Um, Abu wound up having a great day when he switched to conventional rods. We were fishing 11 feet of water. This is one of my uh, spots that I usually don't show, but this was such a great trip. Uh, season's over. I figured I'd show it. Um, and we'll get into that more during the video. But, but, in the first instance, let's let's pick up the action. We literally just get there. I haven't even turned on my camera, and Harvey hooks up to a really nice fish. Ooh, you got a good one. Yeah, How's your drag? He's not so good. Really? Let me get these crabs out of your way. Yeah, I think that's a keeper, my man. <laughs> you, have. you think? Yeah. No. Abu, I think you're wrong. Slack it off, Harvey. I got him. Yeah. That's a nice fish. He's, uh, he's close, but nothing to write home about. I so just, I'm, I my drag I'm still dealing with, uh, uh, with uh, Harvey's fish. George said he has a good one. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. They're big, bigger than yours, Harvey. Woohoo! Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Hey, hey, how long are we here? <laughs> <laughs> a minute. And don't forget, that's my first drive. We have we have Ernesto's limit in the front that we're all gonna take oh, advantage right, of. Right. <laughs> so the first fish was 16 inches, and even better, George's second fish. And we're joking around with Ernesto there, but same issue, not the right rod for jigging. And he too struggled on this trip, even though we limited really fast. And George is using a centaur rod, very, very uh, mild tip in the front. And it again, you feel every hit. You'll still feel those hits with uh, the stiffer rods, but you won't necessarily feel them pulling away, running with it, the harder thumps. That's where a very sensitive tip rod really makes a difference. And you're going to catch one with that. Oh, yeah. Like the beauty, man. Close. Oh, oh, I thought he popped. I think he's gonna pass. Yeah. yeah. There you go, George. Good? Yeah. <laughs> 
Wait, is that your limit? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Oh, it's a good fish. All right, bring it here. Bring it here. It's a very nice fish. We don't need a net for this. It's a nice healthy five pounder though. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Look at this. Awesome, very nice. Good job, man. All right, go sit in the front. Good one? Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Net? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? All right, let me get through. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, all right, all right, let him. He's not hooked that well, so let him run. Look at that, right on the lip. All right, towards me. Good job. Look at that, barely hooked, man. Did I did I say Abu was the ringer? I meant George was the ringer. <laughs> Look at that. That's a six pounder. Yeah, right around there. That's awesome. That's my bay limit. <laughs> yeah. Now you have every every New York State limit offered. Dude, I like I like what you did. Make Abu switch with you <laughs> and take all his fish. Ned or no? That was actually my spot. Yeah. Listen, you're just here for the limit. We don't need a net. It's a keeper though. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. Another good one, man. Another this is this is five, yeah. Holy, towards me, I had slack line. Hey guys, switch to the whites. I gotta switch my real handle. This is, this is pathetic. I can't reel with this hand. This guy will make it, except I can't reel him. Oh, it's a good one, John. It's okay, I just can't reel lefty. I, I, George, I'll measure him. You fish. I'll yeah. measure him. Nothing's gonna happen to him. I just can't get this fish up because of the hand on the reel. Yeah, yeah this is a keeper. All right, nice one. Yeah. All right, guys, we got seven in the box. The days, the, you know, the day's only 20 minutes you know old, so, so far. yeah, we, we got time, we got time. <laughs> I want to check that drag later. No, that's a good fish. Don't, better. you're going to destroy your reel if you reel against the drag. When he, when, that's a good fish, yeah, man. He's getting better. Yeah. yeah. No, no, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. I'm not convinced we're going to get this fish in the boat. We're going to have to check your drag. Yeah. It's not your day, Abu. It's, but it's still early. I'd like to see this fish. Don't give him any slack, Harv. No slack. Oh, it was open. Oh, yeah, it's a nice fish. All right. Should I get the net? Let me grab the net. He's going to be fighting it a while anyway. All right, all right. Sorry, Abu. I don't think you're done with him yet. There's my net. Oh, it's a very nice fish. There he goes again. He saw you. Yeah, that's what Skinner said on the last video. He saw your oh, face. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. We got nice him. Fish. There you go, Harvey. Good job. All right. Thanks, buddy. Right. We got to look at that drag, though. I mean, it's a nice uh, fish, yeah, buddy. It's a nice fish. On no, the white. Slack it. Slack it. Right. Slack it. Slack it. More? Yeah. Beautiful fish. All right. Six plus. Yeah. 
I'll get them, Harvey. Let me just see what these guys got. You got a good one? This is close, I'll measure. Yeah, that keeps. This is a little short. I hear drag. No, it's good though, I think. Keeper. Yep. Yeah. Good job. You're off the schneid. Can't even drop, you know that? Yeah. I can't even drop my line. Alright, this one. Alright, I'm getting the net for that one. Harvey, what'd you do with that drag, my man? All right, all right, good, good, good. Only because the way it was loose before, it was gonna I take I the drag. take you right into the rocks. Oh, Harvey, this is a serious fish. I just saw it. That's a ser That's bigger than your first one. Harvey, you know a lot of these guys could use some type of uh, dental reconstructive right, surgery. <laughs> Being you're a retired dentist. Oh, Harvey, this is nice. Nice. Fire. <laughs> That's your limit now, I think. Oh. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll switch out my spot with one of the other guys. Look at oh, that. Look at the size of <laughs> yeah. this. That's nice. Nice fish. That's an eight pounder. No, no, it's not eight. I don't think so. No. He's fat, man. No, he's not eight. He's six and a half. <laughs> I made all those jokes about Ernesto, Abu, and. <laughs> All right, that's the uh, that's the charter customer limit. Now we have the uh, the captain limit too. What are we at? We're at 7:06. One hour, less than an hour, because it yeah, yeah 45 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 maybe, yeah. All right, Harvey. Here's the scale. Yeah, what's it say? 6.5 and this was a pivotal point for Abu on this trip we just limited for uh, customers uh, 12 fish, 3 fish per person New York State, Long Island Sound limits here and he switched to conventional and again in my opinion it goes back to the rod I saw this firsthand with a custom rod that my regular customer Faisal bought, $350 rod. He bought me one too. I couldn't catch blackfish jigging with it. He couldn't either. His wife, Christina, couldn't either. Um, you, you really need that almost noodly tip to feel everything. The rod that Abu was using for jigging was way too stiff. And as soon as he switched to the conventional setup, he started catching. Good one? Yeah. Abu, you shouldn't give up like that. You shouldn't give up like that on the jig. If you're not, I, Abu, I understand completely where you're coming. Terminal tackle? Yeah. Oh. That Faisal had the same thing. Um, he couldn't, he just didn't have it that day with the jig and he switched to a terminal and he killed him. It? No, I'll, I, I will swing him in and then I'm slack it off right away. I'm going to go help George. Got it? Yeah. It will keep. Harvey, did we make up for the fluke trip? Oh yeah, spades. <laughs> Alright guys, we're one away from a full boat limit. That's 14 fish. Just drive it straight down there. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. Come on. Come on. Doing? The greatest generation. No, you're not. I'm joking. No, I'm a, I'm a baby boy. I know you are. I was, that, that was a, a, an yeah, insult. That's a, that's I a nice fish. Yeah, this, this is uh, close to five. Right at five, I'd say. Harvey, your fish. All right, now I'm oh. going to fish on where I do it. There he goes, look at this. There you go. 
good? I can't even, I can't even handle the fish. What did I tell you? That's another keeper. There you go, Abu. That's the limit, guys. Under an hour. <laughs> Under an hour. Something with the kick, I don't understand what's happening to it, Abu, it happens. It happens. Some days you don't feel it. You just yeah. don't feel it. You did the right thing, I think. Yes, it does. Wow. And you see the big head shakes, oh, Harv? Yeah. That's the type of fish we want. Nice fish. Nice fish. He's going back, but beautiful fish. Hey, one second. Look at that. And we played catch and release for a few more hours. Uh, what an amazing trip. Just a lot of fun. A lot of laughs. And, and a lesson learned too on the... And, and it shouldn't say a lesson learned because I've been thinking about this for a while. Ever since Faisal. Again, Faisal's a customer of mine. He bought me the same custom rod setup that he bought for himself and his wife. And I couldn't catch on it. I don't think he's been catching well on it. I don't think his wife's been catching well on it. And it turns out that Abu's rod was very similar to that rod. And um, in, in fact, same brand, same everything. Uh, you know, part of it is you really need, if you're going to use these half ounce to one ounce jigs, you really want that flexibility, that softness at the tip with backbone, though. You, you do need backbone to fight these fish. But you want to feel all those little hits. And more importantly, you want to be able to tell the difference between the tap and the hard yank or the fish swimming away with it. And I don't think the stiffer tip rods give you that level of sensitivity. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.